Hi, in this video we're looking at something called translation. That's part of shape transformation. Now when we translate a shape, its measurements stay the same, its angles stay the same, it just moves from one position to another. What we're going to do here is translate this triangle from position A to position B. Right, what I'm going to start with first is this line here. From point A, this line actually goes up four squares and across one square to form the vertice. So if I go from B up four squares and across one square, I'm actually ready to put in my new vertice. I'll then look at the second line to go from this vertice to that vertice. We're actually going across two and down one. So from here, I'm going to go across two and down one. And I'll just mark my vertice. Next step is just to join these with a ruler and I've formed a triangle identical to the first one which means I've translated it. So I'll take my ruler and my pencil and I'm just going to join these vertices together making a three sided shape which is of course a triangle. And Hopefully the fact fans out there realise what kind of triangle it is. You're looking at an isosceles triangle. There's a little snippet of information for you. So we've translated this shape from position A to position B successfully. And now just because a lot of fun, I'm going to try it for a slightly harder shape. This shape, it's got one, two, three, four vertices. It's a quadrilateral. It's not a square. It's not a parallelogram. But it's a four-sided shape, so I can call it a quadrilateral still. Okay. If I start at A, I'm translating the shape over to B. So I'm going to do this line first. So from this vertice to this vertice, I'm going down three squares and across three squares. So from B, I'm going to go down three squares and across three squares to this position here. So I'll just take my pen. There's that vertice marked. Now from this vertice in the original diagram, I'm actually going up four squares and across two squares. So from here, one, two, three, four, up and across one, two. We're getting close to the original diagram, but not overlapping. So up four and along two. So I've now got one, two, and three vertices translated. I've just got this vertice to translate now. So from this vertice, I go along three and up one, which means from here, along three and up one, along three and up one. And once again, just to be absolutely sure that I've translated this correctly, I will take my ruler. I will join my vertices together. Oh no, what have I done? It's not a straight line. Well, there's only one thing for it. I have to erase it. Because it wasn't a straight line, I haven't actually translated the shape accurately. Much better. So I've joined those lines together. Joined this line together these two lines together and finally my last two vertices well as you can see it's an identical shape I've ruled it with straight lines I have successfully translated not a triangle this time but a quadrilateral thanks for watching and I hope this has explained translation to you